Hello guys and welcome to the new channel. We're starting a series with the Montreal Canadiens on NHL 19 franchise mode here. And to make it more realistic, I've created some prospects uh, that basically play in the H or not the NCAA as well as the KHL, and some players that are not in the game um, that will be drafted in 2019 as well as 2020, such as uh, Jack Hughes as well as Quinton Byfield and some of these other guys like Alexander Holtz right here, Alexander Romanov, he's a second rounder from the Montreal Canadiens, Brady Kachuk. Bodie Wild, Makar, Favreau, Dennis Senko, all these guys who, Bernard Docker, all these guys who are playing in the NCAA or are, are going to play in the NCAA this year, as well as some of the top players in the KHL, top prospects. You guys can see Jack Hughes here. I made him a 78 overall because um, when I want him when to, I want him when he's drafted to be already NHL ready or pretty close to be NHL ready because that's basically what's going to happen when he gets drafted. According to many scouts, he is uh, the best prospect since uh, McDavid. So Josh Norris, Jake Odinger, Kaprizov. You guys can see their overalls too on the right-hand side. Quinton Byfield, this guy's another player. He's supposed to be going in the 2020 draft. Uh, it's going to be between him and Lafreniere. He's only 16, as you guys see here. Quinn Hughes, Ryan Paling. I made him a 70 overall. Riley Tufty, Kraftsov, and that's it. I also upgraded um, Jesperi Kotkaniemi to a 71, and I made the change, um, not the change, but the trade that happened uh, earlier, actually last night. I'm recording this on Monday morning. Um, the trade that happened between the Montreal Canadiens and the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Petretti went to Vegas for Tatar, a second-round pick, and uh, Nick Suzuki. I also upgraded Suzuki to a 70 overall. I think that a 60, I think he was a 67 or 68. I don't think that's enough for a back-to-back 100-point -back season player in the OHL. I think he deserves to be a lot better than that, especially after looking at Philip Zadina, who's already a 76 and stuff like that. I believe um, Suzuki is almost... His potential and because his potential is only a top six, so I either I was up gonna upgrade his potential to a high top six, or keep his medium top six potential and bump him up to a seventy. So that's what I did. So let's just get started here. Uh, we're just gonna put her name as not Bergevin because Bergevin is gone. And even though I actually like the trade that he made uh, for Pacioretty. Well, he, he traded Pacioretty to um, the Vegas. I actually like that trade, but he's basically ruined the team. So <laughs> let's just uh, fire him, let him go, and then we're going to start this franchise mode. We're going to bring the Montreal Canadiens back to glory because we know it's been too long. So owner mode is going to be off. NHL salary cap is going to be on. CPU trades, yes. Player morale, we're going to be playing without morale this season at least to start because I feel like it's a lot of work and you know if you put players on the trade block uh, their trade value goes down and stuff like that because of the morale so I don't think it's it's worth it in my opinion and then uh, auto sign free agents no assistant coach added lines no as well so we're gonna keep that like this and then the rules and settings let's see really quickly quick settings uh, injuries are going to be on. We're going to keep them on for this season. Uh, what else? Difficulty. That's good. Trade difficulty. I'm going to keep it a medium just to see how it is. I don't want to put it at hard and then we're going to be screwed. Uh, for Fog of War, this is a new feature that um, is in franchise mode. We're just going to keep all the everything off except for show potential. We're going to keep potential on just because when I want to do the draft and then we pick some players i want to know their over not their overall but their potential so we're going to keep potential on uh what else what else gameplay sliders we're going to put um injury occurrence to 10 i'm going to keep it at 10 see how that is uh let's put it at 10 here guys for the cpu and the human just because i don't want to have too many let's put it at 12 just because from experience from before, I don't want... I don't know if that has to do anything with the simulation, but I don't want too many injuries in the simulation. We're going to keep the salary cap on. And we're going to take a look at our team. 
Pacioretty is no longer with us, but we have Nick Suzuki, so I wonder how good his trade value is. And um, obviously, we don't have the second round pick that came uh, with Pacioretty, but that's all right. All right, so it's done loading now. Let's check out uh, just the, the, peop the players that we have, and I want to look at their um, trade values and stuff like that. So Kokaniemi is our highest um, trade value player. He's 70 overall. Let's take a look at his stats. I just increased him his stats just by a couple overall, so you guys can see here really quickly. Uh, yeah, he, he's obviously signed to a three-year entry-level contract. Jonathan Drouin. Weber, Mete, Gallagher, Juleson, Suzuki's trade value is not as good as I wanted him to be, but that's fine. I made him a 70, top 6, medium. Hopefully it can grow into something. I feel like he should be a high top 6, but we're just going to keep it at that as a medium top 6. I don't want to cheat the system too much. Even though I don't think it would be considered cheating the system because I think he deserves a high top 6, especially after how well he's played in the OHL. Uh, Ryan Paling right here, I created him, I made some of his stats, basically all in the 70s, hopefully you can grow, Max Domi, Sherbeck, Romanov, um, I think I maybe should have increased Sherbeck to 78, but that's okay, I created Romanov as well, only 61, medium top 4, and then Tatar's right here, and then I think that's it, I don't think I increased, I think I might have increased Kale Fleury to a medium top 6, and that's it. So that's our team right now. Um, I just want to take a look a little bit around the menu. Now that we've seen that everything is updated. Uh, everything looks pretty good here. Let's take a look at the lines maybe and see what the what the game's coming up with. So, All right, now we're not going to have the assistant coach with us. So Tatar's an 82, so he's not awful, but he ideally I would put him on the second line. And then I would put Domi Duran because Domi can still grow. He's only a twenty, he's only twenty three years old, so he can grow. Duran eighty four, Gallagher eighty four as well. Lekkonen, Dano, Tatar, not too bad. Shaw, Udon, Armia. I think we're missing Paul Byron still, but that's okay. This is what the this is what the game is coming up with. So that's that's fine. And then the goalies carry price so. Let's just take a look quickly, have a quick assessment of our team. Where should I go? Uh, let's go to roster moves. Yeah, let's just take a look at the roster moves just to see what players we have and then um, who do we have in the system as well. So we have Drang, as I as we saw in the lines, Dano, Placanics, Udon, and Freys. I'm going to send Freys down right now. Uh, for the left, actually, let's just take a look. Center is and then in the system, we have Byron Frey, Shapu, all these guys, Paling, Suzuki, and Kotkaniemi. So 370 overall, um, basically 18, 19 players. So that's very good. They can all grow together. Hopefully, they can um, make the NHL sooner rather than later. Odette, Vejdemo, that's another player that is coming uh, from Europe to play in Laval, 22, medium top 6, not a bad player. Bitten, uh, top 9 as well. So we have some players that may grow. McShane, low top 9, so he's not going to, I don't think he's going to turn into anything too special. But we have a lot of center um, center depth in our prospect pool, so that's exciting. Tatar, Domi, Lekkonen, Delorier, and De La Rose. Not the best um, left wingers here. And then in the system, we don't have anything really too exciting either. So we might be looking to get some uh, left-wing help. Byron, Augustino, Freeberg, and Shinkarek, not the greatest either. We're going to bring... Actually, I'm going to bring Byron up right now. And then we are going to take a look at the right wings. Gallagher, Armia. Armia is a third-line scoring forward. Not too bad. Medium top nine. And Shaw. Definitely trying to uh, see if anybody would take on Shaw's contract. 3.9 for the next four years, so that's a lot of money. So he'd be a player that I'd be looking to trade for sure. Nikita Sherback, I don't know if I'm going to keep him in the AHL this year or not, or play him in the NHL, we'll see. His role's listed as a depth forward right now, so I might keep him in the AHL and just let him tear up the AHL. 
medium top six. Michael McCarron, only a 74 overall, low top nine, so he might turn into a bust. Uh, he's basically a bust already, so unfortunately. But we might be able to put play him as a um, as a um, fourth liner in the future. We'll see. Shea Weber, Petrie, Depre, Shlemko, Osner, Wellet, Juleson, and Ben. So we have a lot of young players. I mean, a lot of players here that um, are basically the same player. Like Ben, Wellet, Osner, and Shlemko are basically the same player. And um, Shlemko and Osner are definitely two players that I would be looking to trade in the future. I'm just going to send Juleson down right now and bring Victor Mete. So let's take a look at our prospects here. Victor Mete. Bring him up, Riley, uh, Jolson, you guys already saw, Tarmina, Valiev, and then Romanov is right here. So we don't have the greatest prospect pool in, on defense either, but that's okay. And then the goalies, Price, and Niemi, and then in the system, Lindgren and McNiven. Lindgren is a French starter, potential French starter, medium French starter, so not too bad. And then, yeah, that's it. So we'll just put it as best lines for now. I uh, just want to take a look quickly at just who who do we have right now. I don't want to make any line changes right now because we're not ready to simulate just yet. Let's, what else should we take a look at? Um, let's browse the trading block actually and see who's available in the start of the season here. Um, I'm ba mainly taking a... It, we're essentially in a rebuild, so I want to take a look at some prospects or young players. Seneshin, not a bad player. Let me see. Depth four, low top six. Let's see if I can scout him and see. Complete scouting. Um, let's just take a look here. Actually, yeah, let's just scout him and see if what he's all about. Basically, I'm just going to scout players who are on the training block that are younger and have a potential to have some pretty good... Um, has to have some pretty good potentials essentially so uh Giordano, Hamannick and Brody wow those are a little too old for us but um yeah I'm basically just looking for um prospects or young players Vitaly Abramov another guy low top six I think he is um I think he's a little bit better than that but uh we'll just scout him and see and see who can uh what he's all about yeah, Vitaly Abramov, another guy. And let's keep taking a look here. Spezza, Hansel. Also want to see if um, there are teams that um, need some cap relief because the Montreal Canadiens have a lot of caps. So if any teams uh, want to get rid of some contracts and then they want to give us some young players, maybe I'll be able to um, take, on, take up some cap and maybe get a young player in return. We'll see, though. Let me take a look at this Trennan guy as well and see what he's all about. Just doing my due diligence is because um, you never know, right? So with this fog of war, you need to you need to scout all these young guys because obviously they're not well known. Two other scouts, oh, Phil Myers. That's a pretty good young defenseman. I was talking about looking for defensemen, so that's a young defenseman here that I'll be looking to trade for potentially says he's a low top 4D and that has four bars so that's pretty much pretty pretty accurate and that's not awful though uh, let's see who else nothing interests me here Robert Thomas and Jordan Kyrie those might be two players that I would be looking to get potentially two more centermen let's take a look we'll see if we can uh, if we can scout them I'm pretty sure Robert Thomas is a a medium a leader Maybe high top nine. Jordan Kyrie, I'm not too sure. So we'll just take a look here at him. Another complete scouting assessment for him. Radish, I think he might be a little too much. I don't want to take a look at him. Uh, Anglin Holden, Lucas Johansson, no. All right, so I'm pretty sure I've done, looked at the trade block really quickly, and then you guys saw that we scouted some players. Um, Let's just take a look at the draft class now and see if... Because we're probably going to have to scout some of these players. So um, let's just spin all these... Um, maybe the top 
30, 40. See if um if I pin them. If I wonder if they get scouted if I just pin them. I'm just pinning them right here. I'm going to go all the way up to the ranking where it goes to maybe 40. Coconut Nakis, all these guys. Because we're obviously going to keep our first round pick. And we might be getting some first round picks in return. So, Because obviously we're in a rebuild. So just going to go up to the top 50. Pretty sure we have more than one. Um... Unpinned for me. Okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure we have more than one, um, more, more than one second round pick. So, okay, so I've pinned them. So then, what what should I do now? Player info. Can I scout him individually? Oh, I can. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's look at no potential. I won't need to because I already. I'm pretty sure I, I, I have the potential ready. So the potential is good. Jack Hughes, okay. Uh, Capo Caco, I'm, I'm also going to maybe see if I can scout him individually. I can't, okay. So maybe I don't have any scouts in, in Finland. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can play around with my scouts. This is all brand new to me, but I'm just going to see if I can play around with my scouts as well as... Um, as well as um, maybe hiring some new ones. Just taking a look here. There's a lot of D scouts, D minus. So maybe fire some of these guys and hire some better ones just for um, just so that they're better overall. So we can actually scout some players properly. So I'm just gonna do that. It's a lot of game management. So I don't want to keep you guys bored. So give me a couple seconds. All right, guys, so I'm basically done with the scouts now. Just advance a day because you have to basically try to sign these guys. So it takes a couple days to sign all these scouts. I basically just try to sign some NHL scouts, some European scouts as well. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure some USA scouts as well just because um, I want to have a good grasp on what's going on in the NHL uh, because obviously I'm going to be training with NHL teams as well as... Um, I want to have some European scouts for, um, okay, this guy didn't accept it, because I guess we're full, this guy, okay, so, some guys are not going to accept because we're full, I guess, but yeah, I want to also take a look at some, some of the European, um, have some European scouts because of the draft class, obviously, so, uh, let me just set all these guys up and send them on, I guess, on, um, on duty so they can go and do their scouting stuff but now we have a lot less um d scouts we had like a bunch of d minuses before so now we only have a few d's and then we have more b's and c's so that's good so i'm gonna send uh some of these guys on assignment and then i'll bring you guys back once that's done all right guys so i've assigned a bunch of my scouts uh ready they're ready to go here I'm scouting Philip Myers, Jordan Cairo. Basically sent them, sent a bunch of these scouts um, on some assignments here. You guys can quickly take a look at the players that I'm scouting. Capococco is getting scouted. Um, who else? Scouted some of the Philadelphia Flyers. Suzuki. Uh, who else? QMJHL. OHL, WHL, I believe so as well. Right, yeah. So that's about it. Actually, I might need to hire WHL later on. I'm going to take a look at the draft class. As we go along the year, throughout the year, I mean, um, we will basically assign scouts for um, the di different, different regions that players are at. Like, basically, first rounders. We'll see how, how our team is and where we're expected to basically... Uh, pick so I'm gonna sign a couple free agents because I'm gonna explain to you guys uh, what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and trade tra uh, Carl Alsner as well as uh, David Schlemko as soon as possible, and I also wanna sign a couple free agents uh, just so we can get some free um, assets at the deadline. So I'm gonna trade some guys right now, and then I will trade. Um, yeah, and then I will trade these guys that I'm signing. 
um, later on in the season. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna sign Chase on and Spiza. So I know Chase on is basically a. I think he might be an 80 overall, and Spiza is also an 80 overall. So I'm gonna just try and see if I can if I can advance a couple days. I wonder if I need to. I wonder if they're gonna say no though because um, I think my team is full. Let me see. Okay, these guys, these scouts are still saying no. Let's just advance a day um, and see what's up. Oh, Lucas Bisa. Oh yeah, he's they're full. The roster's full, so I'm just gonna. Um, propose a trade and get Alzner off the books and then try and sign a player right now so just give me a couple seconds guys All right, guys, we're here um, trying to make a trade with the Philadelphia Flyers. I don't have him scouted all the way. I sent I sent my scout to go scout him, but he obviously takes a couple days. So we're just gonna take a chance on Phil Myers. I know he's a low low top four, and I think his overalls might be around 74, 75. So that's a pretty good prospect in my opinion. Let's see if they're interested in Carlson and I mean Alsner and they want to give away Phil Meyer. So let's see. They probably won't like that. Uh, the value is not what they want. Okay, so it's not where it needs to be. So if we add a couple, maybe a draft pick, what would how would that be? So if we add our the Flames is draft pick, a fourth rounder. Would they say yes to that? No. Okay, so if we add the Flames fourth and a fifth, and Chicago's fifth, um, would they say yes to that? Rejected. Okay, no. If we if we do our fourth, I think our fourth is worth a little more. So let's just try that. Uh, Phil Myers, a top four defenseman. Trey rejected still. Okay. So if I give them a third, then a third is as much as I would go, as I would try to get. So Osner, a third. I think that might be overpaying. So two fourths. Let's try two fourths. All right, the Flames and ours. So two fourths and Osner for Myers. Would that go through? Trade accepted. Okay. So I'm happy to accept this proposal on behalf of the Philadelphia Flyers. We consider it a done deal. So. Osner is off the books now. Um, we have one roster spot. Um, and then we're trying to sign a few players. So I'm going to need to trade some more players here. Maybe some players who have uh, crappy... Um, what's it called? Crappy... Um, just basically trade value. So let's see here. These two guys, would anybody be interested in them? Probably doubted. Highly doubted, to be honest. Okay, so Colorado has some spots. I wonder if they want to give away their draft picks. They probably don't. Okay, yeah, maybe. Okay, so six, six might be a little too much, but let's just try it, just to make some roster spots. Okay, trade accepted. Okay, so we got a sixth back. That's fine. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try and sign some free agents now. So, unfortunately, we didn't get Lucas Biza, but I think Alexi Emelin's still there. Uh, and then we'll see who else we can bring. I think Chase Hunt still hasn't accepted or rejected our offer, so he might need a couple more, um, a few more days, I guess. So, Emlyn, yeah, Emlyn will sign. Yeah, Emlyn, yeah, I'll sign Emlyn, to be honest, yeah. Why not? 1.5, and then we can trade him at the deadline. We'll bring Emlyn back, and then chase on so those two players will be coming into the lineup hopefully hopefully they sign so let's advance one day and see what they say a couple days okay chase on accepted good news now emlyn has to accept hopefully 
Uh, let's see. And Alexi Amelin accepted as well. So let's just take a look quickly at how good they are. So roster moves. Let me see here, guys. Are they? I guess they're in the AHL. That's what I thought. So Emlyn, it says he's a he's an eighty three, but I don't think so. And then Chase on seventy six. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. I think it's because they're not they're not scouted yet. But let me just take a look here quickly. Uh, who should I send down? To the Rose. Will let. I might send down Will let. He has a two way deal. Yeah, he has a two way deal. So I'm going to send down Will let and then bring. Who do I have to bring again? I think it's Emlyn? No. Chase on. Okay. So I wonder if I, if I have them up now in the NHL and I go to maybe edit lines after, would that show me their overall or do I need to scout them? I thought for sure it would show me their overall because I already acquired them, you know, but just take a look here. Yeah, so I guess I have to scout them or something. I don't know what that's all about. Or maybe I have to advance one day. Let's see if I advance one day what would happen. Yeah, this fog of war thing is all it's all new new to me, obviously, new to a lot of you guys, so um let's just take a look here quickly at our lines again. So still nothing, okay. So maybe we have to just sim up to the actual the actual season starts. Let's just see. I'm going to actually edit the lines quickly, guys, and I'll bring you guys back once I'm done with that. So give me a second. All right, I'm done here with the lines. Uh, you guys can see I put Domi in the first line, Tatar second, and then... I have Chase on the fourth line with Della Rose and Placanix. I believe Chase on's a lot better than a 76, but we'll have to take a look. Uh, maybe once the season starts, or I'm going to see if I have to actually scout the guy and see how good he is. Uh, Emelin's on their third pairing. I'm going to give Mete top four duties. Hopefully he can grow. Um, he has a pretty good potential. So I've put Domi on the point here to feed some... Uh, to feed Weber for the one timers, and then goalies are like this, and then scratch players have Ben, Delorier, and Shaw. I might be looking to trade Ben. We'll see, and then Shaw as well. But um, let's just put some players on the trading block, and we will start the season, guys. All right, we're back, guys. So I updated my block. I uh, have added Schlemko, Ben, and Shaw three pretty bad contracts so hopefully we can get rid of these guys and then for want I have um, basically forwards f uh, with good overalls no with good overalls with good potentials defensemen with good potential and goalies since we're in a rebuild we're looking to get younger so uh, hopefully teams come to us um, with some offers uh, basically offering um, offering some prospects here some good prospects so this is simulate through the preseason and i have i have updated the line so we're basically ready to go here so october 3rd let's simulate up to this day here the salary cap is coming on waivers as well should be pretty good to go though so uh, for the first game of the season, I'm going to do slow sim. So let's take a look here, guys. First period, let's take a look. Montreal's going to be visiting the Scotiabank Center, I think it's called now. So let's just take a look. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. So we're holding down the fourth four here. Okay, Price is actually making a lot of saves. Um, the same with Freddie Anderson. 11-9, to nine, the shots actually were leading. So we know that Toronto has a lot of firepower, so... Second period, 0-0 zero, zero still, wow. So their offense, the both offenses are actually really dry right now. And we're going to do 8 times speed. Gallagher scores a goal, 22-17 to 17 the shot, so that's really good news that we're actually out shooting them. 29-20 to 20 the shots, good job guys. Score one more to give Price 
a little bit of breathing room, and Victor Mete scores his first goal in the NHL. He didn't score one last year, and he takes no time to score one goal. His first of his career. 2-1, Connor Brown scores, but we hold down the fort. 34-25, to the shots. Not how uh, Toronto wanted to start, but we get the W, so we'll take it. Uh, so now, let's just simulate one month. See if there are any offers that come to us. Actually, I'm going to also stop the simulation after the first month and see uh, if Chason and Emelin's overalls and stats have actually updated. So we're 2-1 and one so far. 3-1, and one, so a pretty good record for how bad of a team we are, in my opinion. At least I thought we were going to be bad. So a second, a fourth, and Della Rose for Kairou, and a third. So let me just take a look here and see what this is all about. This is a pretty decent trade. We would give, we'd be giving up our second rounder, but Kairu is a pretty good prospect, I believe. Uh, he's been up, actually low top six, so not what I wanted to see. Uh, he's been scouted quite a bit. Low top six is for sure assured. Uh, minor check forward that we don't know, and the overall we don't know either. I wouldn't want to get rid of a of a um, second though so maybe if I put Del Rose and a third would that go through let me see Del Rose and our third round pick let's see if that would that would go through for Jordan Cairo let's see trade rejected uh, you're not even offering close to what they wanted okay so a third and two thirds two thirds and Del Rose for Cairo let's see if that would go through we're getting rid of a lot of our of our um, picks here. I think we got rid of um, one for Myers and then one for this in this trade if this would happen. But we also have to t keep in mind that we will be trading Emelin and Chase on during the season and Placanix as well. So uh, we will be recuperating some of these picks and we're also getting a prospect in return. So let's see if I can actually do a third and a fourth next year. Not, not a... Um, not not two thirds. Let's see if that goes through. No, it didn't go through. If we had our own third, because we're we're expected to be a worse team. So if we had our own fourth, I mean a third and a fourth in twenty twenty. Jordan Cairo is a low top nine, so that might be that might be overreaching too much. But let's see. Trade rejected. Okay, so I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna do two thirds and Della Rose for Cairo because he's a low top six. If he was a medium top six. I would have done it. I would have even maybe um, gone down the route of a second rounder, but I don't know. He's not good enough in my opinion. So this guy's been scouted actually. Nikita Kaigarov, one goal, five assists. Uh, he's a sniper. His scouting rank is a fourth. I mean the sixth, and he has a four full binocular. So he's been fully scouted. I want to see Jack Hughes. He hasn't been scouted yet, but he has six goals, 11 assists, so he's killing it wherever he's playing. I don't think he's playing. We don't have college ranks here, but uh, we're 4-3 and three now. 5-3, and three, so not bad. 5-3-1, and 5-3-2. and two. Laval's 5-3-1. and one. I Maybe I should have. I don't think I actually edited the lines for Laval, so I'm going to do that uh, once, actually, I do Dano's injury. So let me just fix Dano. Uh, maybe put you down here. And then uh, I'll edit the AHL lines as well, just to make sure that Kakenyemi and Paling are playing. I completely forgot about that, so give me a couple seconds. All right, so I actually added Shaw to replace um, Dano in the AHL, but I wanted to show you more importantly the AHL and how it's looking. So we have Kakanyemi, Paling, and Suzuki all playing in the AHL. I don't really get how Suzuki's already um, eligible to play in the AHL, but that's fine. We'll keep him here. And then I've put all these guys with good wingers, all 73 and higher. So hopefully they can produce and um, maybe get a call up sooner rather than later. So Jonathan Duran's leading our team. Let's just simulate another month maybe up to December, and we might leave it there. We'll see. Oh, actually, one more thing, guys. Sorry about that. I want to take a look quickly at the NHL lines as well and see if Chason's, um, if Chason's overall has been updated. 
So I think it has, yeah, you guys can see he's a 79 now. I said he was a 76, so that's pretty good. Uh, not a bad fourth line player. And then Alexi Emlin is a 79 as well. So two more trade um, players who are trade bait, so not too bad. I wish we had gone Spiza instead, an 80 overall, but that's okay. He decided to go with the New York Islanders. So um, let's take a look quickly at the news, league news here. Uh, no trade so far, so that's okay. That's nothing interesting then. So let's simulate one more one more month here up to the 30th of November. And yeah, our record is 5-4 and 2, so not terrible. 6-4 and 2 now. We beat the defending champions, the Caps. Dano is ready to get inserted into the lineup, so I'm just going to quickly do that, guys. Give me a second. Shouldn't take too long. So down now here, and then yeah, we'll do this. All right, so let's get let's get to simulating again. I don't wanna I don't want any injuries, or not too many injuries, because then it disrupts the simulation, and it's more tedious than anything. So we're eight seven and two. We're hovering around five hundred, which is not bad. I honestly thought we were gonna have a losing record by the time uh, December came, uh, which is still possible, but I thought we we're we we're gonna be in a way worse position. Laval's a 9-7 and 2, so not exactly the incredible, but hopefully they can turn it around sooner than later um, because we have a lot of prospects there and I want them to play as many games as possible. So Alex Chason has been injured, so assistant coach replaces player. Uh, and then, yeah, we're 13, 8, and 4. No, no, um, nothing as far as um what's it called nothing as far as trades other than the jordan Cairo one from st louis we're just going to quickly take a look at individual stats domi's actually killing it which is good only three goals though but he's a he's definitely a playmaker Dryden has eight goals 19 points not bad our first line is doing decent armia really a surprising start so far 14 points you 12 pretty good dano 11 Tatar 10, so Tatar's kind of struggling on the second line with Arturi Lekkonen. Uh, Weber only has 8 points, but not bad. Uh, and then Victor Mete has his 2 goals, so that's pretty good. And then let me just quickly take a look here at the goalies, how Carey Price is doing. 13, 7, and 2. So it looks like he's back uh, to his old self, 1.99 <laughs> goals against. That's insane. And then Yemi has played 4 games, and he has 1 loss, 2 overtime losses so he still has to win but that's okay we're not looking to make the playoffs here in my opinion if we do that's good but if we don't it's not a big deal so let's just uh stimulate up to the new year why not our team is doing pretty decent so I'm not looking to train anyone just yet but um we'll just continue to simulate here okay so kakinami has been injured so i'm just going to do replace player but when he gets back uh, then um, I will make sure to insert him into the lineup. So we're 13, 9, and 5, 13, 10, and 5. Okay. Central Scouting has released their draft class. So I guess that comes every month. We're 14, 10, and 5. So that's pretty good. So Kakanimi is ready to get back into the lineup. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Kakanimi, get in here. He's already up to a 71. So that's good news. Um, he's growing a lot faster than the other two, but we gotta hope that, um, okay, Emlyn has been in, but we gotta hope that all three of them grow at a, at a pretty fast pace here, because I want them to be in the lineup sooner rather than later. Emlyn has been injured, we're just gonna keep him out of the lineup for now, no big deal. Him and Chase on don't have to play every game, and we're actually killing it so far, 18-5, wow, okay, so... We're going to do the Montreal replace player there for Tatar. He's been injured. But we're 20, 11, and 5. That's incredible, guys. I didn't expect us to be that good. 21, 11, and 5. So are we actually going to make the playoffs? That's something that I'm not sure. But regardless, if we're in a close to a playoff position, I may still even trade Emlyn and Placanix and um, what's his name? Yeah, chase on as well so we'll just simulate up to maybe the all-star break which is here and then assess our team and see what's going on 
Dano has been injured, so a lot of injuries um, in the month of December. We have a lot of games, so I'm just going to add Dano back into the lineup here. And uh, well, Deloria is also on the team. That's crazy. But yeah, anyways, Dano will be on here. And we're just going to keep simulating because we're, we're winning, so no need to make any line changes, you know. Tatar is available, so I'm going to add him again. This is taking forever, but that's franchise mode for you guys. So a lot of injuries so far. So we have who actually I was looking, and we have a better record than the Nashville Predators, which is crazy. 25, 14, and six. Okay, so we're we've lost a few games, uh, two games in a row, three games in a row now, four games in a row. Um, the AHL is not doing good at all though, so I might have to make some line changes in the AHL. Uh, once this break is done here guys and then see what's going on because um, the AHL is supposed to be doing a lot better than that we have some good players there so let me just take a quick look here and what's going on in the AHL so Sherback is not producing so maybe I might have to make some line changes maybe maybe have a kid line or something because uh, Sherback doesn't look like he's playing too well. So let me just make some changes, guys, and I'll bring you guys back once that's done. All right, guys, so I basically made a couple changes in the AHL here quickly. I have uh, Suzuki with Kotkaniemi and then Paling on the third line. And then uh, definitely a kid line for the, um, what's it called? For the second power play, so let me just take a look at who's the best on face-offs. So I'm gonna put Kakaniemi here because he has the best face-offs. But yeah, we're gonna leave it at that for now for this episode, guys. And um, our record is actually pretty good in the NHL, which I actually was expecting it to be reversed. I was expecting the NHL to be sub 500 and then the AHL to be f over 500, but. It's not the case. We're just going to keep it at the Arizona game. It's right before the All-Star game or All-Star break. So we will have a little bit over a month until the trade deadline, which is right here on the 26th. So we'll do that first. And then I was going to conclude the episode, guys. We, You guys can see here our team leader is Brendan Gallagher with 44 points in 50 games. And the Atlantic Division, we are second. So that's very surprising. But I'm just going to keep it at that. And then we'll have almost a little bit over a month until the trade deadline and then we'll assess our team we'll most likely be trading some players because um i don't want to i don't want to keep playing schlemko and all those guys and shaw as well so if we can get some picks for them we might as well do it so thank you so much for watching and leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next episode see you